For the longest time, manufacturers have been putting wings and spoilers on the cars simply to make them go faster. But then, some of these aero kits were so different and prominent, today they have a special place in history and our hearts. Hey everyone, I'm Stipe, and these are the seven most iconic wings and spoilers ever. Let's roll. Number 7 Ducktail's spoiler first appeared on a racing Carrera RS, and in the true German tradition, it was all about function, not the looks. Then, thanks to the homologation rules, the same spoiler had to be placed on a street version too, and that caused problems for the sales team. That Donald Duck looking ass was just weird and in a way ugly, and the sales team hated it. Out of cynicism, they coined the name Ducktail and thought the car would be unsellable because of it. <laughs> Boy, were they wrong! Today, Ducktail is as iconic as the car itself, and many people are putting it on their older air-cooled 911s. Even Porsche themselves are joining in the party with the Sport Design Aero Kit for the 991 generation. We love it. I just hope those sales guys got to hear this sentence. You're fired! Number 6 Yes, it was functional, but can we admit that this looks stupid? A whale tail propped up in the sky by a strut that's sitting on a smaller yet still hefty tailgate spoiler. What? We usually make fun of these on racer cars, so why would we forgive it on a Koza? Ooh, oh, me, 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 I have a few theories. The car was affordable, exciting, and in rallying it was kicking some major ass. Hot Escort quickly became a blue-collar hero that people loved, and with it, the spoiler too. Or maybe because whether or not you like it, the wing was so prominent that it was a sure conversation starter. I mean, look, it's on this list. And finally, since I'm running out of theories, it looks like a G-string. It could be that. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Number 5 Fiat 500 was a tiny old car with an 18 horsepower, 350 cc engine, top speed 50 miles per hour. But by the time a Barth was done tuning it, the car would go over 120, and its bigger 1 liter engine was now making 114 horsepower and a whole lot of heat. Yeah, yeah, we'll solve that heat problem later, said Carlo a Barth. Let's just open the hood for now so it can breathe. But then he noticed that thanks to this quick fix, the top speed also increased. A Barth made a spoiler by accident. And that was that. Who cares if you can't close the lid anymore? The car's cooler and faster. Put it on sale like that and let's have a three hour lunch break already. Honestly, if you ever wanted to know who started the whole, there, I fixed it. Look no further. Number four. When Pagani Zonda first came out, it was so unusual and different looking that we forgave it that super weird spoiler that was split down the middle. Actually, nothing was regular about the car, so the spoiler was kind of fitting. Besides, that wing was not meant to just be split for show. It was supposed to be active and move about depending on which way you were turning, exactly like those fins on the Wyra. Sadly, even though Horatio Pagani had the whole thing sketched out, the idea didn't go through, and six years later, the split was also gone with the arrival of the Zonda F. But I still remember the moment when I first saw that cool-looking hypercar with a now-iconic Lawrence Fishbourne-looking spoiler at the back. So who wore it better? Number 3 It's a proven marketing scheme. Pick a boring three-box saloon and prepare it for racing. You know, more power, big-ass wing, that sort of stuff. Then offer a fast version, inspired by the race car, to the public, and watch as the fanboys fight over which one is better. It works every time, and it worked wonders for Mitsubishi and Subaru. Today, after 15 years, the status of Lancer's Evos and SDI Impresas is legendary, and with every generation, they had a, you guessed it, big square wing at the back. It's an integral part of these cars, and without it, they just look wrong. Look at these. Ugh. No! Nope, 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 nope. Really no. Hell no! Why do people do this? It's wrong! I'm telling you guys, it's wrong! It's wrong! It's wrong! Number 2 
despite all its arrow, Countach was terrible at managing air. It has never seen a wind tunnel, and as a result, the nose would dangerously lift at high speeds. Bolting a gigantic picnic table to back would just make things worse. So why did Lamborghini do that anyway? It was simple. They zeroed out the angle of the spoiler and made it completely non-functional. It does nothing other than blocking your rear view visibility and looking cool in the process. Also, it wasn't an official option. The wing first appeared on a one-off model, but other customers liked it so much that they demanded it was put into production. Sadly, Lamborghini couldn't afford to re-homologate the whole car, so they simply bolted the wings on in the parking lot outside of the factory after the car was finished. Honestly, this spoiler is so ridiculous, it's awesome, just like the rest of the car. Number 1 would you look at the size of that thing? Holy shit! Shit, shit! Yes, it's the Charger Daytona. A big old slab of metal that weighed as much as 14 Michael Moore units, and yet, somehow, it was still successful at racing. NASCAR racing. But hey, it is racing. Daytona was the first car to break the 200 mile per hour mark, and it happened on the first race it entered. That's what you get when you combine the big 426 V8 and the magic of a real rocket scientist, John Pinter. He did some math and figured out the car would go faster if it had a nose cone and a ridiculously tall wing at the back. But why so tall? Because up there, the air is clean and less disturbed. It makes it more efficient. Not so you can open the trunk lid, as many people say. Who creates a race car with practicality in mind? And there we are, seven wings that are as iconic as the cars that wear them. If I could add three more to the list, it would be these. Can you recognize them? Do you agree with the list? Write down in the comments below and blah blah blah, you know the drill. Okay, see you in the next one.